Hey guys, this is Kip with Warriors on Purpose, and it's time that we just let go of our limitations. You know, the only person that is holding you back is you. And this has been kind of stirring on my heart um, for the last couple weeks, and, and God's been speaking to me about letting go of my limitations and being the best Kip that I can be. And so I wanted to make this video this morning, but I had just got done with my morning walk and exercises, as you can see, and I thought, well, I need to shower because it's so important what people see and, and how people perceive me and for engagements and likes and for them to get the message. And I thought, you know, that completely is hypocritical of the message that I want to share. And so I just did it as is because it doesn't matter what I see in the mirror and it doesn't matter what you see. All that matters is what God sees in me, and he sees perfection and a masterpiece and the greatest miracle in the world. And that's why I want to share with you who you are. You know, maybe for so long you have told yourself that you're not good enough, that you're just not worthy, that you can't do it. And so you start to believe that. Maybe other people, co-workers, parents, siblings, a coach, teachers, you know, friends, maybe a spouse has told you that you're just not good enough. You're not worthy enough. You can't do it. And so you've believed it and you stopped really trying to achieve the great purpose and the seeds of greatness that are within you. And it's time that you blow the lid off those limitations because it's just a false lid. It's not really there. It's just what our minds told us that we can't do because we can do anything. You know, and it brings to mind a story to me um, when you start thinking about what people see and, and what we see in ourselves and and. Back in, the, in, in King David's time in the Bible, before he was king, he was just a shepherd. And Samuel had been called by God to go to David's father, Jesse, to bring all of his sons in because one of them was going to be the next king. Well, Jesse brought everybody in to the house except for David because his dad saw David as just a scrawny old little shepherd boy. He couldn't be king. He didn't have what it took to be king. His brothers didn't see that. Samuel probably, when he first saw David, didn't even see that. But he asked his dad, Jesse, he said, so is this it? Is this all your sons? Because these aren't it. And Jesse goes, well, yeah, I got the one little run out in the fields who's, who's tending to the sheep. And, and that was the one. You know, it wasn't based upon what his brother saw. It wasn't based upon what his dad saw. It wasn't based upon David's occupation as being a shepherd. It wasn't based on anything other than what God saw in him. And David believed in that. David knew what his value and what his worth was. But you may say to me, well, Kip, that's great. That's a great little story and blah, blah, blah. But I don't have the resources. I don't have the talents. I'm in such a bad spot. I've been hurt by all these people. I have this addiction. I'm in extreme poverty. And, and all those things are just excuses that you've started to believe about yourself, that you let stay as a lid and as limits on your purpose and on your possibilities. You know, David went into a camp and they were, the, the Israelites were fighting the Philistines and the king said, anybody that can kill that big giant Goliath, I'll let him marry my daughter and give him just rewards and riches and, and honor. And David's like, well, hey, I'll do that. You know, his brothers were, were saying, go home. You're just making fun of it. This is not for you. You know, the king even tried to put the armor on David and it was so big, it just weighed him down because he was just so small. But David said, don't, I don't need that. David knew exactly that he had in him and within him everything that he needed to accomplish the purpose that God had on his life. And so he walked out being confident in who he was and in his value. He picked up a rock, put it in a slingshot, did that, and boom, killed him. Went over, cut the giant's head off, held it up, and was victorious. But you may see battles in front of you. You may see things or giants in your, in your way as obstacles that you can't overcome. And don't see them like that. Don't put the limits on those things because of what you think or what you perceive or maybe what other people tell you that you can't do. See them as opportunity. Know that you have everything that you need within you right now to do the things that are in front of you. And as you continue to do that, as you continue to kill giant after giant, God will just discipline you and he will favor you and he will continue to add the things that you need to continue to increase and to be the impact and difference maker that you want to be. So I want to encourage you today, break through the barriers that are holding you back. Stop seeing the limits on your life. Stop listening to that negative talk that you give yourself all the time. Stop seeing and hearing what other people have said about you for so long. And start seeing what God says about you. You're the one that he loves. He made you unique 
the only one like you in over 70 billion creatures that he has created that have walked this earth to this date. That makes you the greatest miracle in the world. That's who you are. Know that. Walk in it. And let go of your limitations.